Rugby League World Cup in England has been postponed until 2022 after the withdrawal of champions Australia and New Zealand. Now, the two countries pulled out the tournament, citing players' welfare and safety concerns related to COVID-19. The World Cup, featuring men's, women's and wheelchair events, uh, was set to start in Newcastle on the 23rd of October. I was just saying earlier, Joe, Jamie, that... Watching the cricket yesterday was great. Big crowds and yeah. India, England. You know, I just thought we were maybe over it now. But clearly, um, the, you know, the Kiwis and the Aussies have said no, well, we're not coming. Well, yeah, we're over it. Do you know what I mean, we've got on, we've got on with it. We've got the crowds back next season. But you know, obviously speaking to Joe as well, you, you know, you can't have a World Cup without New Zealand and Australia, especially in rugby. They're the two, they're the two best teams. But is it not that their players, when they go back, will not be? They're worried about the pre- their their pre season or something. They'll, want, they'll miss it. It's delayed. They're worried about missing pre season. Well, the, the clubs <laughs> that, are. That the clubs, is a, the oh, clubs, the clubs, the clubs are, are not the players. No, I no, don't no, know a single no. player in any sport that would be worried about missing pre season. <laughs> well, you're no. not even in pre season. Where are you <laughs> meant to be in pre season? You ain't gone back. He's done a Harry Kane. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! This ain't yeah. a protest. It's just that I forgot the dates. <laughs> so you're meant to be back in pre-season right now. How can right you forget now? the dates? No, well, no, Harry, no. Clearly, no. Harry has. No, He's in the Bahamas. Fair. You would have done in Dorset. That's, that's not fair. I've, I've, I've taken a delayed um, paternity leave. Okay. So <laughs> I'd, I'd, uh, my missus had a kid in... When was it? <laughs> <laughs> Six, seven weeks ago. And it was... I said, look, my miss... Oh, I was around the semi-final time during the Premiership. I said to the boss, I said... Uh, I'm going to have to take paternity, mate. I've looked in the contract. I've never had paternity before. Apparently, you, you can get away with it. He went, what? I said, I'm going to have to take paternity. He said, yeah, okay, that's all right. When are you going to take it? I said, well, as soon as the baby comes, that's kind of what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, yeah, but that's the semi-final and the potential final. I said, yeah, sorry, mate. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. And he was like, Oof. oh, right. Yeah. So I said, no, no, look. You can't do anything about it, can I'll take it delayed. So that's this is just one of the delayed points. Does he, does he, he doesn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is if he's listening. This is the first time he's hearing it. Brilliant! Wow. That's amazing. Who'd be? Would you be favourites again this year? No, no, no. I'd, well, you don't know how it goes now that Saris are back in the league, um, and that it's no relegation. So there's that lack of fear, and boys are going to throw the balls ball around. Hopefully, um, it'll just be a weird one. But ah, uh, there's part of it that I, I have no idea how we did it last year. To be honest, no idea. Coach got sacked in December, January, and then it was just absolute carnage from there. <laughs> yeah. Absolute carnage. But sometimes that's the best way. <laughs> well, man. yeah, but then how sustainable is that? Is it going <laughs> to... We'll see, hopefully. We, we can't got... go down. Well, well, there you go. So there's a positive. We've got a new coach in, so hopefully he'll bring some sort of uh, sustainability. Anyway, back to the rugby league, please. Yeah, um, so you, ha- you, you, you think it's the right decision. Well, no, well, sir. What do you them. think? Football World Cup. Who, who's the two best teams in the world right now? Italy, one well, of them. It's debatable. It's debatable. Oh, England. Yeah. Okay, Italy and England pull out of the next World Cup. Where'd you come? Where'd you get England from? Uh, he's just. Well, they're in, they just got in the final. This is a World Cup. All right, you're telling me England are not one of the favourites now. Then you're yeah, not telling but, me England are not one of the best uh, teams. You asked me the best two. Well, you and you won't put England. Uh, Argentina, Brazil. Mm. Yeah, no, they're good shouts. All right, let's put it this way: take those four teams out of the Football World Cup. You watching it? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because I get paid to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that sums him up. No, I don't know the reasons why New Zealand Australia teams wanted to pull out, but I'm They've glad. Done sneakily as well. Well, well. I'm, I'm glad that it's been postponed because you want to see the best of the best. So, even if I don't agree with their reasons. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. See, at least I get an answer out of John like you. Well, I'll give you the same answer he did. What do you uh, mean? F- f- former. We've got, we got to have the best teams in the yeah, world. Yeah, fair. He did. Yeah. Former England prop Joe Mallers with us until ten o'clock. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.